What is going on everyone? This is Eric coming at you from just outside of Hartford, Connecticut. And today we're going to be doing the last video of our rant series as I rant about the Carolina Hurricanes. When I started this rant series a while back, the first video I did was of the New England Patriots. And once that video went up, I knew the last video was going to be of the Carolina Hurricanes because those are the two teams I hate the most, the Patriots and the Hurricanes. So without further ado, the first bullet point is, of course, stealing the Whalers. And a good amount of these bullet points will be relating to the Hartford Whalers. So I'm not going to get into the politics behind why this happened. Basically, there's this whole thing where the governor of Connecticut was trying to get the New England Patriots to come to Hartford and... He kind of realized he could only get one team to come to Hartford, and obviously the NFL is more profitable than the NHL, but that's beyond the point. So I understand that aspect of it, but the fact is Carolina stole the Hartford Whalers, and I was a Whalers fan. I was born in 1997. I was born before the team left. My dad at one point did work for the Hartford Whalers, so you know I would have been a Whalers fan through and through. There would have been no denying it. I would have loved to be a Whalers fan, but unfortunately, they stole our team, and Frankly, you know, I'll get to why I don't agree with that later, but they stole the Whalers. They stole the Whalers. I mean, the Whalers were founded officially in the NHL in 79, uh, so they only lasted 18 years. But the fact of the matter is they left an imprint in Connecticut and in the Northeast in general and in the NHL in general. I mean, you still see a ton of Whalers memorabilia being sold. They're one of the top selling memorabilia teams in the NHL, and that says something. They outsell some active NHL teams, but I regress. So Peter Camaros Jr. is, of course, was the owner, I should say, at that time, who was the one who kind of basically fought Connecticut tooth and nail over everything with the team. And basically he demanded, you know, he gave these ridiculous demands with like, oh, I want X amount of tickets to be sold. I want X amount of concessions. I want X amount of season tickets. And Basically, Hartford actually ended up meeting all of these goals, and the fans did a great job. They all rallied, and they managed to meet every single goal that he met, and then he still said, you know what? Screw it, and he left anyway. So to me, that's just a huge slap in the face, and it shows that these owners can do whatever they want and get away with it, and you know, it, it, it's a fact that it's a small market too. Hartford, I understand, is in a large market, so it's concerning. If I'm like a smaller market team too, I'm getting terrified about what he did to Hartford. Robbing the NHL of the league's best logo. So I understand that's an opinion that the Whalers logo is the best logo in the history of the NHL, but it's not just my opinion. If you pull the average NHL fan, there's a very good chance, and if you say you can't choose your favorite team, so hypothetically I couldn't choose the Whalers, there's a very good chance that the Whalers will have the best, highly most voted for logo in the league. Everyone loves the Whalers logo, it's beautiful. And when Carolina stole the team, they couldn't keep the Whalers logo because there's no history of whaling in North Carolina. And of course, whaling is, of course, a horrible practice. But, you know, historically speaking, that was in the Northeast, not in North Carolina. So and now they're trying to do that stupid throwback stuff. I don't support it. Sorry. Left Hartford without a stadium. So when they left Hartford, they still didn't even have a stadium in North Carolina at that point. They were still building the stadium they had. So they had to play some games in the uh, some old stadium that was massive and looked absolutely horrible on TV because you couldn't fit any, even like the most passionate fan base like Montreal would have had trouble filling it. So playing in that dump of a stadium just made the move look that much worse. 2006 Stanley Cup. Uh, it, it's painful because you look at it and... Uh, Less than a decade after leaving Hartford, they won the Stanley Cup. That's the Stanley Cup I would have been celebrating had they not left Hartford. You know, it would have been my first sports championship in my lifetime for a team that I actually support. Uh, I'd have to wait two more years to celebrate, but, you know, it, it would have been really nice. And the fact that Carolina won it is just a slap in the face to everyone at Hartford. And uh, one bullet point I didn't even mention, and I could have, is the fact that, like, because Hartford left... A lot of people stopped supporting hockey. And uh, my dad, for example, he doesn't really follow hockey anymore, but he used to all the time because he loved watching the Whalers. But once they stole the Whalers, there's no point. So then it took me time to get into being a hockey fan when I started just following it myself. Um, storm surge celebrations. 
So now we're getting on to the present day hurricanes. We're not talking about the 90s anymore. I, for one, you know, you've heard me talk in videos before. I'm a traditionalist in baseball in particular. So it does carry over to hockey as well. And I don't like these stupid storm surge celebrations. To me, it's just stupid. Like, you think you're having fun. You think you're everyone's enjoying it. But no one is. Everyone's saying, what are you doing? You're waste. It's dumb. Like, oh, oh, look, we're doing limbo. We're diving. We're playing duck, duck, goose. Why? Who's getting joy out of that? No one's getting joy out of that. That's something I'd expect in an AHL game or maybe an OHL game, but not an NHL game. These are grown men. Why are they doing that garbage? Do it. Keep it in Pee Wee hockey, okay? Keep it in Pee Wee hockey. OHL, maybe. It shouldn't be in the NHL. It's stupid. They're a horribly ugly logo. So I mentioned the Whalers logo was arguably the best in all of sports, not just hockey. The Hurricanes logo, it's ugly. It looks like something some five-year-old drew up and they said, oh, hey, let's just make some minor critiques to it and we'll make it our logo. I don't like it. It's dumb. And don't forget their secondary logo of the flag. That's even worse. That's literally like, oh, hey, we're the Hurricanes. Let's just choose a Hurricane logo. That's bad. Rod Brindamore. Huh, this was a tough one to write, but I just have to mention Brindamore. I mean, obviously, I'm a Flyers fan now that the Whalers are gone. He's the Hurricanes coach. He's, of course, probably more known as a, a, a Hurricane player and coach than he is as a Flyer or a Whaler. So just had to bring him up here. I don't mind him as a person, but lack of true fans and so many bandwagon fans. If you watched a Hurricanes game five years ago, ten years ago, there were no fans in sight. It was pathetic. It was horrible. It was ugly. You know, you, it would be like watching a Florida Panthers game. It was that bad. But now, all of a sudden, there's fans everywhere, and they're talking about, we've been loyal fans for 20 years now. Really? Have you? Where were you guys 10 years ago? Where were you three years ago? Well, actually, three years ago, they were there. But where were you five years ago? Where were you guys? You weren't there. You were non-existent. There were no fans in Carolina at that time. They'd pretend to be fans, but they weren't there. They didn't go to the games. They didn't support the team. Maybe they'd support it on, like, you know, Heritage Night or something like that when there was an event going on, T-shirt giveaway night. But they never went to the games. It's a joke. The fans were horrible, and now all of a sudden they have all the bandwagon fans. I really hope they don't get a Stanley Cup anytime soon. I hope they don't make a run anytime soon because these stupid bandwagon fans are going to be rewarded. Horribly annoying Twitter. Their Twitter is just one of the worst Twitters to follow if you're not a fan of the team. They do all this stupid stuff. Honestly, check it out if you want to. Um, some people probably would enjoy it. But to me, it's just it's not fun. It's not cool. It's just annoying. Now, they actually are a bunch of jerks, to quote Don Cherry. It's the one thing I actually agree with him on. And he said that, eh, talking about the storm surge celebration garbage, he called them a bunch of jerks. I agree with him. They are a bunch of jerks for that stupid stuff. It's just a slap in the face to all hockey traditionalists and purists. And it, it doesn't... What? Who gets joy out of it? The kids. Good for you. Good for the kids. But no. They're a bunch of jerks. Tom Dundon. Dundon's the current owner of the team. He uh, he bought the team in uh, 2018. He was a majority owner. He just bought all the uh, minority shares earlier this year. So Dundon, I mean, as an owner, whatever. But he has some... Interesting dealings that he's done. He is a part owner of Carvana. Carvana is definitely a very uh, suspect company. So, um, and the other thing with Dundon is he did ruin the Alliance of American Football. So, if we had this channel back when, in 2019, I would have really loved talking about the Alliance. I watched every game. I would, you know, I would actually work during the games, but I would go home and they'd all be on YouTube and I would just rewatch every single game. It was great. I loved the Alliance. You had great players. You had Johnny Manziel, of course, is probably the most well-known player that played there. But uh, Dundon comes in, and that the whole situation in the Alliance was a mess. But Dundon comes in, and he says, oh, I, I promise, oh, $250 million. And then he retracts that, and he basically ruined the league. So I won't forget him for that. Jaspiri Kakanyemi offer sheet. So, you know, I don't necessarily disagree with offer sheets. But the fact is, I've mentioned it before in videos where teams can't do offer sheets. Ryan Ellis, for example, for the Flyers. Or sorry, um, Roman Josie, but, you know, 
here we are. If they can't do an offer sheet, Carolina shouldn't be able to do an offer sheet. And then the number that they did was a complete troll of an offer sheet. So yeah, I definitely don't support that. Last point, they do not deserve a team over Hartford. And I could have wrote in, written Quebec as well. And hey, guess what? I'll take away Florida, Seattle, and Carolina to give two of those, you know, give Hartford and Quebec teams. But they just don't deserve a team. They don't have a good fan base. They don't have a loyal fan base. They don't deserve this team. They stole the team. They illegally stole the team. And plain and simple, they stole the Hartford Whalers. They don't deserve to have the team in Carolina. Hockey belongs up north, not in Carolina. They can barely support the team in Carolina. I don't, it just it doesn't make sense to me. I have nothing good to say about this team, plain and simple. I despise the Carolina Hurricanes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the rant series as a whole. It's going to be tough to let it go, but hey, you know what? Things had to get, things can't come to an end. And this was the Carolina Hurricanes rate rant video. If you're a Cants fan, I feel bad for you. Have a good one.